A lot of engulfing candles today that took out basically a week and a half, uh, two weeks worth of selling. Again, even on the Russell, you're not out of the woods uh, just yet. But again, if the Russell can get above. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing okay. I'm gonna say it, right? I'm gonna say it. I logged off two minutes, right? Two minutes before one of the biggest candles uh, I can remember in a very, very long time. Today was obviously uh, Fed Day. Okay, um, there was a pretty big standstill kind of uh, kind of a drawback from activity in a lot of names throughout the day. Yeah, there was some scalps here and there, you know, some docu to the downside, a remount on Starbucks back to the upside that reported pretty good earnings. Obviously, I'm one of the biggest fans of Starbucks, but we were kind of like in a holding pattern. Everything was just kind of going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And then we got to the Fed, right? And Jerome Powell announced uh, the most aggressive rate hike since 2000. And, um, you know, this was first perceived as moving up and then they slammed the market and then they moved it up and then they slammed the market. And during that time, I, I, I looked at the tape and I said to myself, something's wrong here, right? Something's really, really wrong here. And I'm looking at Tesla and, and it, we'll get, get to the individual pivots in a second, which I missed. So just understand tonight when you go to sleep, I will be hating on everybody from the sidelines in my, in my dark fetal position in the corner. So Tesla was trading at a two, three dollar spread after the, after the Fed announcement. I've never, I've, I've never seen tr Tesla trade at a two, three dollar spread. I was watching Amazon was trading at a five dollar spread. I was watching, the only one that held up was Facebook, right? Everything else was just like literally all over the place, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And I said to myself, after you know watching Tesla trade for about 40, 45 minutes after the Fed, I said to myself, listen, there's no way in hell, there's no liquidity on this thing, there's a $2 spread, I can't figure this damn thing, you know, I can't figure out this tape. I, I thought we were gonna rally. Matter of fact, if you go on my Twitter account, I said, look, if, if, if the perfect world, right? I, I tweeted this out, I go, in a perfect world, they slam the market, right? Slam the tape, trap shorts, take everything red to green and rally into the close, right? The problem is they did that four times or three times. I'm, I'm exaggerating. You can hear the fr frustration in my voice. So it, they, they did this, it felt like a thousand times. They did it twice, right? Green to red, red to green, green to red, red to green, and ultimately red to green. And at 247, I looked up, right? I went downstairs, I logged off like around 245, at 247, I go, oh my God, Tesla's at nine. It's like Tesla's was at 920. And at that time, you saw all those, you know, we, we saw the whole morning. They were coming in size with the 950 weeklies all morning. 950s, 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 950s. Again, I'm ranting here, right? I'm ranting here because, again, if you want an update of what the Fed did and what the market did and all that, blah, 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 there's a million sites. Go, go, go look at a million different. I'm coming from you from a frustrated uh, trader's point of view. And, you know, at some point you turn around and you say to yourself, well, what's the difference between gambling? Like, what's the difference right now if I'm putting money on, you know, the, you know, the Memphis, you know, the Memphis Golden State game, John Morant's a god, right? What's the difference if I'm putting in a, a, a bet on the, on, on, the, on the Grizzlies versus the Golden State Warriors than trying to trade Tesla with a two, three dollar spread? And in my mind, I said to myself, this is not gambling. I can't put my hand on it. I can't get any liquidity. Even if I'm right, I'm gonna be more frustrated. This thing works. Let me just log out. What I didn't anticipate was a 3% surge in the market. Um, even though we had some pretty good upside pivots, and we'll, we'll get to that in a second. I know a lot of you guys did well. Unfortunately, I missed it all. I literally missed it all. I sat there for five hours, uh, jer jerked around a little bit, got, caught some Starbucks, caught some uh, caught a little bit of docu, but I missed the whole, uh, I missed the whole uh, enchilada. I missed the whole main course after the, you know, after 245. And if you caught it, guys, congratulations. I know some of you guys have been texting me 
great job. I'm only joking. I'm only hating on some of you guys. Some of you guys I don't know well enough to hate, but more important guys, great, great job. Again, what's cool about technical analysis, if you're sitting there and you're waiting to trade and you're willing to do it, you know, again, technically things uh, usually play out well. And, and I tell you, you know, the, 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 market, the, the market did hold the last couple of days. Uh, the tech names were holding, even though they got sold off uh, this morning and Amazon looked like it was about to go to zero this morning and all these stocks look like they're about to zero. You gotta give the bulls a lot of credit. Although there was a lot of R2, D2 and C3PO action here uh, towards the afternoon. And listen, the scoreboard's the scoreboard. 950 points or 60 points on uh, the Dow. Uh, you had 400 points plus on the NASDAQ, and we are here, right? We are right back to uh, this little intermediate channel here that we actually pierced a little bit above this uh, 330 close, and this is now the highest close in the formation. The question is, again, we're not out of the woods yet. Of course not. We all know that how important that 50-day moving average is, and right now uh, that 50-day moving average is at 341, but, but a hell of, this was a hell of a step, whether it was artificially inseminated, uh, whatever the case may be, the scoreboard is the scoreboard, the closing price is the closing price. And the one thing I've said through all my career on, 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 in, on Wall Street, there's days you're going to miss everything. There's days you're going to get everything. Some days you're, you're the pigeon, some days you're the windshield. And today was just one of those days that, you know, talk about timing in life. Timing is everything. If I would have just waited just two more minutes, two more minutes, I would have caught this really, really massive uh, macro break on Tesla. Uh, NVIDIA started going. Um, a shop went. You had Facebook with a massive, massive move. But obviously, if, if anybody's been watching this broadcast for a while now, you know Tesla is my, my favorite stock. And all it did was put up a $30 candle straight up. I, I don't even think there was an uptick. Every time I kept on checking, it was $5 higher. And I mean, look at this move here. Look, if all I had to do is just wait, just wait two more minutes, two more minutes. It took out this whole channel here and look at this wonderful move here. So if you guys got it, guys, congratulations for all you guys watching this for the first time. It's probably gonna be the worst recap in history because all I'm doing is venting. And again, I was swinging through the air. I was punching the air because I couldn't believe I missed this. Uh, I missed this move, but it is, listen, it's part of life. It's part of trading. Uh, the only thing you can do is just laugh about it. You know, you can have uh, plenty of opportunities uh, going into the future, but sometimes again, like they say, numbers game, right? It's a numbers game. Life is all about timing. And today just unfortunately wasn't my uh, two minutes, right? Two minutes uh, to, to, to glory. So that's that. So going into tomorrow, let's look at the indexes uh, really, really quickly. You had a you know, pretty, <laughs> pretty amazing move. I mean, this this spy candle really engulfed this whole move here. It stopped at the 20-day supply. It'll be very interesting to see tomorrow if the bulls can reclaim this 430 uh, on the close on this 20-day supply, which would be a very big number. You look at more on the Russell. They kind of did exactly the same thing. A lot of engulfing candles today that took out basically a week and a half, uh, two weeks worth of selling. Again, even on the Russell, you're not out of the woods uh, just yet. But again, if the Russell can get above this 195 on a close, then it has a beeline going back to the $200 uh, spot, which is the 50-day moving average, and that's super duper important. Uh, the Qs, which again, I track, I follow, because again, that is usually uh, where I am getting my meat and potatoes. Uh, again, the highest close in the last uh, week and a half formation. You probably get a test tomorrow uh, off this uh, 332, 334 area. The question for the bulls is, can they reclaim this area? If there's an inside day and a lot of these stocks rest, that's okay. But as long as they don't give back the majority of what you saw today in the last hour of trading, and it's really amazing how you can have five hours worth of dead zones, five hours worth of lethargic, lethargic action, and you get one candle and it really takes back a, a week, week and a half uh, worth the selling. Just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. The longer uh, I do this in a weird way, as much as I'm not shocked at what I see, it's pretty damn shocking what you see when you uh, log back on. So that's what we need to see there. As far as, you know, as far as setups tomorrow, I mean, I mean, it's go through the NASDAQ 100. Again, you don't have to be creative to, for, for, for the market to succeed tomorrow. Again, that's a very, very big if, like I said a couple of minutes ago, you, you could have a res day. It's very, very possible. But now at least you have to give, you have to give the, the bulls at least the benefit of the doubt of see what we could happen. Again, we are not out of the woods till we get above the 50 day moving average, but again, baby steps. Again, you can't build a house without laying the foundation um, and, and to start putting, you know, putting, putting in all the factors that makes a house a home. So it's very, very important to kind of take it uh, step by step. But today uh, was very, very impressive. Uh, you know, again, some names I, you know, I like for tomorrow. If we confirm uh, AMD had a really, really big uh, quarter today, a nice move here. If it starts confirming the par 
you could get a you know you could get another five percent move potential in this thing. Uh, look at a name, you know, look at a name like Facebook just just went absolutely nuts today. Uh, we talked about Facebook last night on the video, you know, being the cleanest again, not the sexiest, but the cleanest out of all the charts to the upside because they had at least a positive catalyst, even though it was very low bar for earnings, got above all the supply here, and you can see how much room uh, it has. Pretty good aggressive uh, call buying uh, in that as well. Uh, look at Qualcomm, right? Look at Qualcomm, uh, a, you know, a stone throws away from its earnings high. If, if Qualcomm can confirm its earnings high along with the 50-day moving average, you, you got to, you know, you got to move to 154, uh, 155. And the same thing with Microsoft, right? Look at Microsoft as well. Again, you can see this whole channel here. Here, here is the first one uh, that had pretty good earnings, right? Pretty good earnings. Although, again, the bar was set for a lot low, low for a lot of these companies. But if, you know, if Apple could just get above this whole channel here, maybe it could start pushing into the 300 area that we did see some short-term uh, confirmation, sort excuse me, short-term uh, option flow with short-term expiration, and that is going to be a key. So again, we'll get to see tomorrow uh, if the bulls, also Netflix, I like Netflix a lot, if it wakes up as well tomorrow, again, it closed above the 10-day, if it could confirm this whole channel here, maybe it finally, uh, you know, maybe expands a very, very aggressive uh, channel there. So, you know, that's it for tomorrow. Uh, let me give you guys some pivots, right? Let me give you guys some pivots uh, that we definitely like uh, for tomorrow. Uh, oh, excuse me, not from pivots, some, some pivots for today that all exploded right after I left. So AMD for experienced traders, it took out the 98.79, it took out the 98 area, uh, closed right next to par. Uh, Netflix didn't uh, confirm, but I like this thing for tomorrow. Shop, 476 needs to build, here a shop. Everything exploded, right? Here comes the 476, traded up to 488. If he has one more day, spot, uh, shop can get into the 500s. Uh, yeah, this was the big one. Remember, I'm hating on all of you. I'm not talking to any of you guys tonight. Tesla, 925, 935, big spots. Yep, that's it. 935, 925, big spots. Uh, they both confirm and traded right into supply of 955. Just an absolute huge move. If they reclaim this whole channel here, this thing could go back to 1,000, 1,000 and change. So definitely, definitely watching, uh, again, Tesla for the next couple of days. Facebook went absolutely bananas. 215 needs to build. Here was Facebook, right? Here's Facebook, only put up a $10 candle. I didn't need any of that, trust me. I didn't want any of that, I didn't need any of that, right? Why pay the extra taxes? Unbelievable. Uh, Netflix, obviously, we were watching for a, a move to the downside, never got there. Uh, then I was watching Tesla to the downside, never gave a second entry. Uh, that was before, blah, 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 blah. And that is it. And again, here's the big spots, right? They're coming for size for the 950. So be on alert and yada, yada, yada. Two minutes early, I logged off. So that's it. Some days you're the windshield. Some days you're the pigeon. I'm the freaking windshield today, right? Hopefully everybody caught some of these things. Guys, have a blessed, blessed night. Take it easy. Go Get ready. Uh, get ready, stay focused. The most important part is appreciate all of this, right? The good, the bad, the ugly. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you miss it. That's the old wonderful joys of the greatest reality show that's not on TV. Guys, God, God bless. Good night. I'll see you all tomorrow.